Hi, welcome back to the Gapster channel. My name is Gabby. About a year ago, I did this video about this power supply to uh, supply the power for my D11 DAC. This is the uh, shorter version of it, and I will go through all the details from start to finish, including all the schematics, how to incorporate trigger in, trigger out, timers, a soft start, and all these great things. It's always easy when you think, oh, it's going to be just three transformers, a couple of things, blah, blah, blah. But when you try to put it in a functional unit, it's a whole different uh, story. So you can see here in my system, my power supply here that belongs actually to this DAC here. When uh, my preamplifier uh, powers, it sends a trigger in to the uh, power supply, which this power supply then it's gonna send the power and supply my DAC. Also, uh, from the trigger out here, it's gonna send a signal to power the uh, amplifier as well. It will also trigger a timer and after a certain time, it can shut everything off. So here it is, just watch it. As you can see, with one button, I was able to power everything on and it automatically will shut everything off after a certain time. Here we go. And everything goes off. For those of you who have been asking how to power all these UC Pures in all these examples, this is it. This is the advanced version of it. This will supply six basically UC Pures or maybe four UC Pures and two linear pies so of six outlets of 12 volt AC that you can use for whatever you're trying to power. So I'm going to work on the uh, socket for the uh, AC outlet. We have three of these uh, O-ring uh, transformers. This one has two independent uh, outputs of 12 volts. So one two and three. I'm wiring the uh, power supply uh, unit here. So we have, uh, as you can see, three transformers. Uh, we have fuses, there are about six fuses, so each winding has its own fuse, uh, just to be on the safe side, because I'm not running a heavy duty cable. There's also a main fuse for the transformers, in case the transformers short. Uh, that also will uh, trigger uh, the fuse. The box will be grounded by the ground wire. It's very important so that the case is grounded. So uh, this is an easy schematics. I uh, just kept it simple basically. I didn't want to make it too complicated. You can see on the right the three uh, O-ring uh, transformers. They each have their own uh, dual uh, 12 volt uh, lines except the third one has a 12 and a 6. So you will uh, notice that uh, there's a quite a few fuses, there's some center wires and some people might freak out, oh wow this is uh, not your typical uh, uh, audio grade wires and fuses. This all is not really important in this case because all these transformers are doing is charging the ultra capacitors uh, in a very quick, uh, brief moment, their job is very limited. Their job is just to provide power and uh, the DAC is running on the ultra capacitors. And the wires from the ultra capacitors to the DAC portion, all the different components, these are going to be the sick wires. So we're going to keep those really short, sick wires and very good quality wires. Also, when the uh, DAC is running, uh, these transformers are not connected to the ultra capacitor, so they're basically galvanically isolated. What This is a very simple uh, schematic. This is a simple version, so if you don't need trigger in and trigger outs and timers, I suggest you use this particular diagram. Uh, so, uh, what activates the uh, power, uh, all these transformers, you'll see that uh, flip-flop circuit. Uh, you can get that from Amazon uh, or uh, eBay, I can put a link uh, below. And the flip-flop has a little relay, it's supposed to have a rating of 10 amps, uh, 250 volts, but I don't trust it to power uh, three big transformers like that. So I uh, used a, a very large relay that's going to be uh, powered by the smaller relay. So the smaller relay will send the, the power to the bigger relay and the bigger relay is the one that actually uh, 
uh, starting the transformers. Uh, there's a little snubber circuit and uh, that snubber circuit is basically it eases up the startup of the power so there's not a big spark on the relay so it doesn't get damaged. You can uh, google that it's uh, pretty simple that's a simple uh, uh, resistor and uh, capacitor and they're all in the little schematic up here. At the top you'll see that I used a very small regular transformer uh, it's about 13 to 14 volt DC is the one I have but it was kind of fluctuating with load so uh, I put a regulator on it to pin it down to somewhere between 10 and 12 volts to supply all the little powers for all the little circuitry that's gonna run like the flip-flop uh, circuit all the timers for the uh, VU meter and things like that so I'm not going to bore you with all the wiring, I'm just going to be uh, wiring all uh, 12 uh, wires. Uh, now I'm working on the control uh, power unit. So I've already mounted the transformers, the fuses, the uh, power cable that has all the, all the uh, outputs of the AC voltage. It's coming from uh, three transformers, there's six uh, basically. Uh, uh, AC outputs. Uh, we'll be also uh, right now working on a um, this is going to be the control unit so when you press power it's going to turn it on and off and uh, so there's a because of there's big transformers there's a big relay uh, to handle the load and uh, this is a flip-flop switch so you push it once it goes on push it again it goes off you can get those of amazon pretty cheap 10 bucks and uh, so that's going to be the on off uh, switch control and uh, we're going to add another couple of relays here and one of them is for the trigger in one of them is for the trigger out they're opto isolated so if anything goes wrong it's not gonna affect your system trigger in and out is what it means is let's say you have a preamplifier you turn your preamplifier in your preamplifier will send a signal to your DAC and uh, to turn it on and that will turn it on and your DAC will send a signal to your uh, amplifier to turn it on so it's a chain or reaction where so you have one button you push it everything goes on you push it off everything goes off so that's what this was is and that's going to be all mounted in here to control the power unit so here you can see on the left i've added to the schematics the two uh, relays uh, opto uh, isolated relays and the one is going to be uh, it's a trigger in and one is as a trigger out and as i have said before uh, basically uh, your amplifier for example uh, i mean your pre-amplifier will trigger uh, the uh, DAC and uh, via the trigger in and the DAC will send the trigger out to the amplifier for example and, uh, and this way will create a chain so one uh, push button could activate everything. I kept the schematics uh, in a simplified format with pictures like uh, I just wanted the people that don't have extensive electronic uh, background to kind of understand and relate and not find it uh, too complicated so it's done uh, on purpose also uh, you will notice that uh, db15 cable is basically a cable that has 15 uh, small wires in it and that's what's going to be it's like the umbilical cord that's going to go from the power supply unit it's going to be away from the DAC for keeps the noise everything away and it's going to supply the uh, the main DAC the main DAC is also going to have all the ultra capacitors so it's also it's going to have some part of a power supply in it and that's why it will have a another isolated uh, uh, part the DAC will be isolated within that as well we'll get to that when we uh, talk about the uh, the DAC unit so here it is you can see uh, so this is gonna be this is the flip-flop will trigger the big relay so 
the small relay to trigger the big relay. There is a snubber circuit, what we call here, and that is to uh, reduce any sparking in the relay and protecting the relay from uh, degrading over time with, with uh, sparks. And uh, so uh, it's, you can uh, Google it on the internet, it's called the snubber uh, circuit. And uh, so, yeah, so you could see here. Like I said, the small flip-flop relay will trigger the big relay. That's a snubber circuit. It's basically a resistor and a capacitor. I didn't have a big enough capacitor, so I used two in parallel. And this is going to be for the uh, trigger in and out. Uh. This is an optional timer circuit. Uh, I wanted the DAC to... Uh, activate an amplifier sometimes i use the uh, a tube amplifier and i want to activate the uh, tube amplifier and uh, after a certain time to shut down and uh, the uh, just to save on the uh, expensive tubes that i uh, usually use so you don't have to use it but this is there and i wanted to have the option of having that and so that's the schematic of the timer circuit. I'll put a, a link on where you can get that timer circuit. I got it off Amazon. On the other side, this is the cover, the wooden cover that you could see earlier. And uh, it's got the, the little display here that connects to it and it goes into uh, the unit in here. So when you turn the unit on, the unit will, uh, will basically turn on and uh, you push the button again the unit will turn off uh, when you turn it on you have the option of having a timer uh, or not having a timer the timer is uh, you, let's say you have a tube amplifier and you don't want it to run 24 7 burn all your uh, expensive tubes so you could set the uh, dock to send the signal to the uh, power amp to uh, to shut down say after four hours or whatever time you prefer and if you don't want to use the timer feature you simply turn it off the buttons are hidden underneath because you're probably going to set them on once or twice here and there so i didn't want to clutter the aesthetic part of the unit uh, with that and there's a couple buttons as well to set the time underneath as well so uh, off and on and uh, like i said the timer goes on and off. So you can see here in my system, my power supply here that belongs actually to this DAC here. When uh, my pre-amplifier uh, powers, it sends a trigger in to the uh, power supply, which this power supply then it's going to send the power and supply my DAC. Also, uh, from the trigger out here, it's going to send a signal to power the uh, amplifier as well. It will also trigger a timer and after a certain time it can shut everything off. So here it is, just watch it. So this goes on, this goes on, and this goes on and the, uh, this is powering on. And the amplifier takes a few seconds to power on. It's just uh, triggering in. It gives it a few seconds to warm up and you should see here they are, the lights come on. Uh, it's, the amplifier has a little delayed start just to power everything properly. So as you can see with one button I was able to power everything on and it automatically will shut everything off after a certain time. And it's the same way, that same button if i push it it's going to shut everything off here we go and everything goes off you can also configure it to use the power button on the DAC itself in the top corner i'll put a link to one of my videos about the power supply using ultra capacitors for plus five and minus five volts and i'll put a link in the bottom on how i built a DAC that uh, helped me enjoy the music even more if you like to support the channel, I'll put a speaker here. You can click on it to subscribe. You can also uh, donate via Superbox or join my Patreon. That is strictly for uh, support at this time. And I hope to see you again in another video. Take care.